I'm getting geared up for five days of skiing in Colorado. I've got my motivational DVD playing right there. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about right now. Something happened three days ago that has absolutely got me creeped out about social media. That's why you haven't seen me online a lot recently because I've been trying to figure out how to turn a lot of this off. So here's the situation. About four or five years ago, people were stating that Facebook was listening to your conversations because things were popping up on your ads. Facebook has absolutely denied it. They'll deny it to this day. There was, I've been reading a lot of articles, even up until last month. They do, not, they do not listen to your conversations. So this is what happened with me. My administrator came in asking me if she knew where she could purchase some items for a broken air conditioner or for a broken refrigerator and stated the word HVAC. HBAC. I told her I didn't know what where you could buy that in our area. I didn't know how to get a hold of that. So she gets on her phone and calls somebody about the same question. So she says the word HVAC maybe two times. I say it maybe two times. I've never at this point typed it in anything, any computer, any system. I have no reason to. But now I want to show you what's popping up on this wonderful social media site called Facebook. And I'm going to show you how to get to all of these preferences so you can turn all this stuff off so they are no longer patterning you, or at least listening to you. Go to my discoveries. This is apparently my personality type, discoveries of interest of who that guy is. What, what, what's that? HVAC is now on my phone. Again, never typed it on my phone. Never. I have no reason to use that word ever. And apparently... That is now in my preferences and profiles. Yeah, Facebook isn't listening to you, but what's it doing on there? Okay, I'm a little creeped out about this, and I'm not like a big conspiracy theory type person, but I have proof that Facebook is listening to us. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, show you how I went through all of these profiles, and there's actually things in Facebook that tells you how to turn this off, I just don't know if you know about it. So I'm gonna show you how to run through all this and uh, do a lot of screenshots and tell you which buttons to push so that Big Brother, at least Facebook, is no longer following you. So step one, go to Facebook and I would advise you doing this on Safari or online and not in your app. Go to that top little right button on your phone, scroll all the way down to the bottom until you get to this thing called account settings. Click that bad boy and then go to your ads right if I get this to focus ads right there and then you're gonna see this screen now I've gone ahead and deleted a bunch of this but you're gonna to want to click your see all your interest come on focus see all your interest click that and I probably spent three hours clearing out what the quote unquote see all your interest things are. I left these on here because these are other things that popped up. This word LED lamp, I've never typed that word in anywhere. So I'll show you how to delete that. Just click on those three dots there and it says to remove that as an interest doing so. And then what I like to do is hit the refresh button and then watch it disappear. The next step is redundant and you're actually gonna have to do this all over again once you've cleared it all out, you'll have this as um, your top favorite interest. Go to this right discovery button, but see you've already cleaned all that out. Hit the right discovery button there. And this is the original screen that I showed you where the HVAC uh, showed up. And you're gonna have to go through and delete all of these. And it's probably gonna take you about another three hours to do it, but well worth it. Just hold the button one time. It'll say that you've added it and then hit it again. And it'll say that you've removed it and punch that fresh button again and it'll disappear and then go through the process of deleting all of those all right the next thing you want to do is go to your applications and download any type of an ad guard ad blocker ad protector i went with ad guard uh, just because after reading through the different ones this had a lot of the preferences that i was looking for so just do a little research and get some kind of an ad block and i think you're going to be amazed at how different your a phone will operate. Next you're going to want to turn off all of your ad settings. Log on to Facebook, go to account settings or settings, go to where it says advertisements in the left hand column, scroll all the way down and you will see something called ad settings. 
and make sure all of these preferences are turned off. You might want to go through and read all of these. It's interesting because um, they're kind of admitting what they're collecting information from you. Just make sure all of these settings are turned off. And then scroll back up and you can actually check and make sure all of your information is turned off here and then go to just double check make sure your interest are matching up to your phone as you can tell all of these have been deleted that's matching my phone and even with your advertisement and information you can tell that it's all been deleted and has been paired up the final thing you're going to want to do is on the hardware side so go to your phone settings that little tool guy there go to privacy or privacy come on and you will find where it says microphone the little red guy there and make sure all of those settings are turned off meaning not in the green snapchat admits that it listens to you so does instagram if you have the amazon account they will listen to you if you're using the google account meaning the apps themselves meaning they'll show up here make sure you turn all of those things off all of those um, companies admit that they actually listen to you and that's how they collect information so i would advise probably deleting those accounts and just using them um, online i'm at the tail end of editing this video and i'm going to do two more things the first thing is I'm going to list all of the articles that I've read and the videos that I've watched. Articles that are very heady, um, very advanced mathematics. If you're into that type of stuff, I would read through these uh, documents because it's very interesting how people have created algorithms to collect data about us. And these algorithms, and I think there's about 10 of them that are publicly for sale right now for any company to buy um, to upload and purchase all of this information about you. So just as a side note, if you think something is free, as my dad would tell me, it's not free. Just consider that. And finally, the last thing is I'm going to run Facebook just as a user for one month. I'm not going to look at my ad advertising settings. I'm not going to look at all that stuff because apparently I believe I've turned everything off. So check back in a, back in a month and we will see if that's actually happening.